Hi guys! So let's plunge here again. So this is going to be a very short video. And here I'm going to show you how I try to revive my Talancha Zero Grafica airplane. Sorry, but before anything else, I really need to tell you the story behind this thing. So we went to the garden store a couple of weeks ago to buy some new house plants and some fertilizers. Well, it's also been <laughs> it's also been a thing for me to pass by the airplant section to see if they have new ones. So just so you know, most plant stores just display plants in containers or water them whenever it but never really take care of them like they do in an actual airplane farm, for example. I'm not generalizing, but that's what I've noticed a lot. Going back in this little airplane corner, I saw some Tilancha serographicas that were soaking wet. Look like uh, they just watered them that day. That's not the shocking part. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure these plants aren't supposed to be that wet for a prolonged period of time because they'd be prone to rot. Now these serographicas were placed upside down, at least, to have the excess water trickle down and avoid it from staying in the center of the plant, you know, to avoid rot. Instead, they were placed normally, you know, upright, with a tiny pool of water in the center. Then I thought, these plants will rot. So, you might have guessed by now, I bought a couple of them. Not all because I ain't got that much money. So to cut the story short, one of them was a bit damaged and I've been trying to revive it since the day I bought it. I know it wasn't wise, but your guide was trying to play a hero. This is like an experiment as well to see if they can really be saved in such conditions. Now the Zeographica that I'm talking about had started to dry up, but the core still seems intact and healthy, and that's why I was thinking that there's still hope of saving it. In the first three weeks since I got her, the goal was trying to rehydrate her since she looked too dry. I soaked her in water two times a week for at least an hour. I don't have access to a well or rainwater, so I just usually let tap water sit in the bucket for at least 16 hours before using it for my air plants. So, I think this guy's still gonna make it. Well, hopefully. Like my other air plants, I let her dry for no longer than 3 hours every after soak. To aid in air circulation, I use a ventilator. In the fourth week of the plant rehab, I can say that she looked a bit better. I then started misting her in between soaking. The fifth week, it's noticeable that some of the leaves could not be saved anymore. This meant they needed to be trimmed. I read somewhere that trimming a plant's dead leaves would help it focus its energy more on creating new ones. It can be seen though that there are still healthy leaves remaining. This tiny leaf that's starting to grow from the middle is a sign of hope that this air plant can still survive. Before starting to cut away, we need to make sure that we'd only be trimming off the dead leaves. To determine the healthy from the dead ones, I dip the Talancha serographica in water. By doing so, it would be easier for me to differentiate the healthy tissues because they'd be green in color. Now grab a pair of disinfected scissors. Remember to cut only the brown parts since these are obviously the dried up dead ones. I cut just approximately a millimeter above the green leaves from the base or core, making sure that I won't be hurting the air plant. Well, look at her. She actually looks a lot better without those dead leaves drooping around. This is how she looks now. After six weeks, she's still alive and thriving. The little leaf in between keeps on keeping on. I kept her back to the usual watering routine I do with the other serographicas I have. You can
can check out my video on how I water my air plants indoors. Oh, and you can also follow me on my Instagram account. So, I'm gonna make sure that I'll be posting an update about this plant. If it's gonna die, I'm gonna post it. I hope it's not gonna die. If it's gonna reach a certain milestone, I'm gonna include that as well in the video to show you whether what we did was successful or not. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below and like this video. Thank you again guys. Thank you and yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.